This is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com and we're going to take a look at Windows Mobile 6.1 Professional right now. Uh, first off, let's show you the Task Manager. This is no longer part of the Settings Memory Control Panel and it's a lot easier to use. See the soft key for End Task is right there on the left. So we can easily kill programs and you can see how much memory each one takes up. You can also view processes but you can't end any of these from here. You can also switch applications. We're going to go to Internet Explorer. Now the newest thing here is under menu you have zoom out. <coughs> And you see it's the default selected one, so all I have to do is press the menu soft key and then enter. And you can scroll really quickly. Some pages are still readable like this. Some are not so much. And then you can zoom right in. Now right now I have the view setting to fit the screen. Uh, if you put it to desktop, and then zoom out. <coughs> you can see it's all in the full desktop style rendering. However, the problem here is if you zoom in, you can't read this text. See, it goes, you have to scroll all the way over here. So that's not very good for usability. Now you can also render one column as usual. And zoom out. And there's a lot more scrolling when you have it in one column view, but having the zoom it out capability makes it pretty easy. So that's pretty nice. I really like this interface for the zooming. Um, there's no double tapping, which is undiscoverable anyway. But this also scrolls like that. <coughs> That's with HTC devices only. Now, a lot of you probably use mobile formatted websites. The zooming is still very useful with those. So that's a pretty big improvement, but as you can see, this is still the old Internet Explorer rendering engine, so it's not that quick. And also note, the zoom out command is not accessible while you're still loading. So you actually have to wait until it's finished before you can zoom out and navigate the page. And for some sites, that can be a long time. Okay, I'm sick of that. So let me go to messaging. Now the new text messaging here, you see it says me. That means I wrote that message right here, which is weird because we're in the inbox. But if I open that, it's showing a conversation that I had. Now if you notice up there, that's an MMS message. There's a little picture icon. And when you type, You see up here, it shows the number of characters out of how many you have per message. And the send button is right here for the left soft key, which is really great. Unfortunately, there's no pictures of who these people are anymore. That was a nice feature of the previous version.
email messages is pretty much the same. Also, you can't mark as unread anymore in the text messaging program. Copy to SIM is also grayed out, but you can still do it if you go to the conversation and then select a message. Now copy to SIM is available. So that's about it for Windows Mobile Pro 6.1.